Um, my name is Scott Griffin. I'm the Chief of Forest Management with the Georgia Forestry Commission. I um, also have Michael Torbett with us this morning. He is our GIS specialist and will be talking about the use of the website. So I'll go ahead and start out just laying out some background. So uh, we had a uh, timber harvest working group that the Georgia Forestry Association put together. And um, that working group came together primarily just due to irregularities across the state with with some of the county notifications and county timber ordinances. So um, we brought together a real good group there. We had um, ACCG was there, the Association of, of County Commissioners of Georgia, and we had um, some county um, personnel. We had harvesters. We really had a broad uh, group that came in to, to kind of share both you know, all the sides of the story. And so out of that working group came the idea of creating a website for a statewide timber harvest notification platform. House Bill 897 was passed, which um, added some language and, and did some good things, I think, to the uh, to 12624, our timber harvest notification law. Uh, it did some things like it defined where the bond can be used to fix the road so it identifies an area so many feet on either side of the ingress egress where that bond can be used um, for road damage. It also gave some some teeth to the county to you know encourage those notifications to happen so it's allowed them to increase the fine for failure to notify and then of course it had language in there that gave Georgia Forestry Commission the authority to create a website so most of 2021 we had a pilot that we ran um, we had morgan upson emmanuel jones sumter pierce and clinch counties participated in that primarily and so we went through an extensive test on this um, we got feedback from the counties and from the harvesters in those areas and we made some changes to uh, to make that work for both sides uh, and so that resulted in some improved security for the system so you know that People aren't seeing, um, you know, your your information, that kind of thing across the state. So we added security. We tweaked the data collection process. Um, one example of that is we added an ingress egress field where uh, harvesters type in the name of the road where they're coming out on. That just helps the county know uh, where you're at in case the map is is unclear or you know maybe it doesn't have a road name on it or something. So that helps them. Um, in December, we had a similar kind of webinar with county officials, and we had a lot of counties on. We had over 100 people on the webinar, and we uh, introduced this uh, website to the other counties in Georgia. We talked about some things that were needed there as far as how they were going to be able to function with the website. Um, we talked about things like the county must have an ordinance to require a notification. So um, that's something we're working through now with the new system is when a county signs up, we have a question that the first question is, do you have an ordinance that requires notification? And that's that's a prerequisite for to require it. So um, just working working through that. Um, and you'll be able to see the counties. Michael will show you how that works as we go through. Um, which counties are active at this point. So um, on the 18th of January, uh, Tim Laumer, he's actually um, listening in on the call today as well. Our state forester, he made the announcement that the website was open for, for business, if you will. It was um, you know open to, to all harvesters and counties who wanted to participate. Um, for this first period, it is voluntary. The, the um, the language in the bill says it can't it's voluntary for a period of no longer than 18 months and then after that date uh, the the website becomes mandatory for counties that re that require notification so that will be the official notification process in the meantime during this voluntary period you'll just have to have conversation with your county to see if you know if they're um, you know, kind of kind of how that's functioning. I, I know I've, I talked with one harvester yesterday and um, the county has already reached out to them and said, hey, we're signed up. Uh, we want you to start using the website. So there's some good communication going on there. Uh, we've had a lot of interest from the county so far. A lot of them are signing up and um, 
so I think I think this voluntary period is going to take care of itself. I think the uh, that most of these counties are going to sign up and get on board, but you'll be able to see on the website who's who's active and who's not. I'm going to turn it over to, to um, Michael Torbett now, our GIS specialist. He's done a lot of work on this website and really crafted a product that I think is going to be very useful for you and for uh, for the counties as well. You know, our goal was to create efficiencies um, and uniformity. So we want it to be the same in every county and it will be with this website as far as the notification goes and it'll be efficient for you. I hope once you get once you get registered and um, you know, you can enter a notification in five minutes, so it's it's going to save you a lot of time. All right. All right. Well, thank you everyone for attending. Let's get into it and I'll just kind of show you what we got here. Just a quick rundown of what the uh, this timber harvest notification system is based off of. Um, we use ArcGIS and the platform we use is ArcGIS Online and, uh, and ArcGIS Hub. If you're not familiar with those, um, that's OK. I'm just going to show you the whole system and uh, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So jumping right in. So this right here is the uh, Georgia Forest Commission's homepage. So to get to the timber harvest notification site, you can go up here and click on forest management and conservation. And down here at the bottom left, you'll see an, an option for timber harvest notifications. If I click this, this will take us to the timber harvest notification website. So right here, uh, there's just some general information. If you scroll down right here, you have three options. You have submit a harvest notification. This is what you will use to create an account and to get in and to submit your harvest notifications. For uh, city and local governments who require notification, this is where they go to request access. And this button right here, if you click this button, this will show you the current counties, cities that are participating in our timber harvest notification system. Uh, and of course, down here, this is very important. If you have any time you have any questions, this is our email, timberharvest at gfc.state.ga.us. But just to kind of give you a rundown of these buttons, we'll skip this one for now since this is for the uh, cities and counties. Um, this one right here, if I click this link, this will open a map that shows you the current cities and counties that are participating in the system. So I can zoom into one. Um, it shows the, the name. If I click on the little red dot, um, it gives you a little bit of information. It gives you uh, the address, phone number, uh, email, where you can email them if you need to. But uh, if you do not see your county or city in green on this map, uh, they are not participating at this time. So the next part of it, we have this button right here. So when you click this button, it's going to open this website right here. And this is called an ArcGIS hub page. And this is all you'll see. You'll see uh, participating local governments, which is just the link that'll take you back to that map I just showed you. This button right here, if you click this, open up a new page and will show you the current law. And this, of course, just shows you the law if you need to review it for anything. So getting access to the system is a two-step process as far as count creations. The first thing you have to do, and there's instructions down here as you scroll down, is first you'll need to create an account. We generally uh, recommend a company account because uh, when you sign in with your account, you're only, and you, you go to access your timber harvest notifications, uh, they'll be available on a map via dashboard. You will only be able to see the harvest notifications that you have, you have submitted through your user account. So you will create your user account and this what this account is. This is an ARC GIS online, GIS online community account. And what that is, see ARC GIS online is a uh, is a worldwide platform developed by Esri where you have a bunch of cities or you have a bunch of different organizations and uh, companies around the world that use this platform and we all have our own individual spaces in it. Uh, the Georgia Forest Commission has one. Uh, we have our own uh, organizational account with them. Um, and within that, we have our timber harvest notification uh, site. So the first step is you create a company account. Once you do that, um, and you just do that by simply clicking this button, create your account here. And that opens up this little form right here where you just kind of fill it out. You'll get an email confirmation, so on and so forth. After you fill out this account, it'll send you an email. Of course, you'll go back to your to the website. And you will log in and you can log in up here. So these two buttons, when you first log in, submit a harvest notification and enter date of harvest completion, you will not yet see these buttons. 
That's because you have an ArcGIS Online account you have just created, but you have not. But what now? You have not requested access to our uh, Timber Harvest Notification Hub page here. So if you scroll down a little bit further, create a current company account, and then fill out the user uh, access request form. This right here, if you click this link right here, this is where you'll uh, fill out a request to access our Timber Harvest Notification page. Um, the reason why we do it this way is we only we have a limited number of uh, accounts we can assign, so we don't want your normal, you know, landowners or or the general public freely creating accounts. So we use this as kind of a vetting process. So uh, you will fill out this form and hit submit, and when you do that, we should be able to get back to you within 24 hours. We'll review your information, and then once we approve you, these two buttons right here will show up. The next time you log in, you'll get an email notification that says congratulations, you've been approved. And then you log in, all of a sudden you see submit a harvest notification and enter a date of harvest completion. Once you get registered, the two step process and you get signed in, then you know it's basically you're clicking on the website and you can start entering a notification. So it'll it'll be a, an easy process after the after you're registered. So um, the next steps of it, so you want to submit a harvest notification, you would click this button right here. And when you do, it basically, it takes you to this page right here. So this is the second page after clicking this button. It looks identical to the first page, but if you scroll down, this is the timber harvest notification form right here, where you could scroll down and start filling it out. Um, this is also mobile friendly. So if you have a phone or a tablet, um, this will show up really nice on your mobile, on your phone or tablet and you'll just go through filling it out. You also have the option to, if you want to open this form in a separate tab, you just click this button right here. Um, and I'll show you that right now. So here's an example um, I put together of a harvest notification form. I'm going to really quickly run through some of the questions. Uh, now, just to clarify, this form is designed to follow the law to a T. Um, there's nothing more or nothing less in here than what the law requires. So just to kind of go through, um, the first question is, of course, do you have any, do you or any other involved parties have a valid surety bond? Um, yes or no. If you click no, you get this, uh, you get this warning message to contact your, the county or municipal authority to determine if a surety bond or letter of credit is required. And then, of course, the name of the person uh, or firm on this surety bond. And of course, for this example, I picked John Doe. Is this timber harvest operation part of forestry land management practices? You can just read this long statement right here. If it is, yes, you're good to go. If you click no, you get a little warning right here. Um, we're telling you that this notification only, only applies to timber harvesting associated with forestry land management practices agri or agriculture operations under code section 12-7-17. So, the next question is, are you harvesting in, in a city within the city limits? If yes, you'll pick a city, the city that you are harvesting within. For this example, I pick no. This, this right here, if a city requires a harvest notification in addition to the county, they will, if they're in the system, uh, depending on what city you select here, they will get an email notification that you have submitted a harvest notification. So the next one right here is uh, the county of harvest. Um, this right here, depending on what you select, back that up. The, all the counties that are in this drop down are the counties that are participating. So um, you pick a county, and whatever county you pick, when you submit this form, that sends an email to that county, letting them know that you have submitted a harvest notification. And I'll show you a little bit of what a, the email kind of looks like. Um, and then going on down the list, of course, um, how many acres are you harvesting? I, in this example, put 50, timber sale type. For this example, we use lump sum. Uh, the legal name of the landowner, of course, for this, we use John Doe, and, and he's got the 123 Maker Street address in Macon, Georgia. Uh, zip code is, of course, 555. I don't believe it'll let you do more than, well, yes, it will. Uh, on down, generally, you don't do more than five uh, digits for the zip code. Um, if, if there's a landowner representative, so this could be a forestry consultant or somebody else related to the landowner, they would fill their information out here. These, these two fields are not required. Landowner's phone number is required. Um, 
it's optional if the landowner or representative want to put their email in here. Um, that the email is required only if they want to receive a copy of this notification by email or a confirmation by email. Generally speaking, of course, the, the timber buyer or the harvester is going to be the one that's getting these emails. Uh, and these so and then going on down, we have uh, this is the timber buyer information. So your timber buyer um, and I'm using me as an example, Michael Torbett of Longbeard Timber. And um, for this at for my example, one, two, three, Dublin Street in Dublin, Georgia and my zip code right here. And we require a phone number and an emergency phone number and email right here. This is required and we want you to confirm your email down here. This is because once you hit again, once you hit the submit button for the uh, not only are the counties going to get an email notification uh, with an attached PDF of your uh, notification, you are going to get one as well so you can keep it for your records. Right here, uh, this is the logger harvester information. Uh, above this, it says, uh, is the timber buyer also the logger harvester? If they say, if uh, if you select no, you're just going to go down here and say that the harvester is somebody different than the timber buyer. You know, the timber buyer works for a different company. They'll fill out their information here. or You'll fill out the information here. If yes, it all, it's automatically going to take all this information up here and populate it down here. So it's just make life a little bit easier for you. And then again, um, email is required. Um, and of course, right here, we ask who has completed the form. In this example, we've chose the timber buyer. And then this being, uh, again, we're using GIS, ArcGIS, and this platform right here is actually called Survey123. Uh, uh, this information is stored spatially, so we ask for the location. And so you can search by address right here. Uh, or you can just zoom in, zoom out on the map. Um, you can even change base maps right here to try to find your location. Or if you know the coordinates, the coordinates must be in. You can search by coordinates wherever you're doing your timber harvest. And the coordinates, just to, just to make clear, need to be in decimal degrees. Uh, don't don't use uh, meters or UTMs or degrees, minutes, seconds. Use them. Uh, use this and uh, just be. You know, just. Uh, if you're entering the wrong coordinates, if you enter in a, in a different format, it's going to throw you. It's going to take you somewhere weird on this map, and you'll you'll know it pretty quickly. Just keep an eye on this map. If if the location on this map does not look right, uh, you may want to check your coordinates, or you may want to check your address up here. But uh, but that's pretty much it. And of course, down here, uh, name of the public roads at the main point of track entry and exit. Um, and for this example, we use Riggins Mill Road. And then finally, down here, uh, a map of the harvest area is required for timber harvest notification. And then we ask, how would you like to upload your map? You have the option of taking a picture up or uploading an image. This could be a JPEG or a P PNG file, or you can attach a Word document or PDF map to it for it. For this example, uh, I just uh, I just attached a map of uh, Laurel Wilt. Uh, disease. Uh, this is just a statewide uh, or nationwide disease, lower wilt di disease distribution map, just for the demo. And then once you do that, you hit submit. Once you hit submit, of course, that you'll have you'll get this thank you for your submission. Uh, an email notification will be submit will be sent to you and the appropriate county city officials. I won't read this whole thing, but uh, uh, this little blurb down here, and we're going is notice of harvest cessation is required within 24 hours after the job has is completed after you complete your timber harvest you'll need to go back in and uh and enter the date of harvest completion into this form uh and submit it so the counties will know that you've completed your timber harvest and there's a link right here where you can view your timber harvest on a map i'll show you i will show you this link in here where another place where you can access this link in just a second so disregard that for now so you've submitted your timber harvest notification. You will get an email and here's an example email. So this it's just a generic email. Please retain this email for your records. Here's some information down here. If I click this right here, here is a PDF copy of your harvest notification. Um, and uh, everything you typed in that form is now populated into this PDF. You can you can download this, save it, print it, uh, keep it for your records. Uh, the counties also will get this notification uh, with this PDF. They will also get a, an attached copy of your map that you attached as well. And then down here at the bottom, there is click here to enter the, the harvest completion date. And the county will get a, um, 
a Google Earth link. So that's why that point you put on the notification is important because it's gonna it's gonna give that county a Google Earth link to go. Um, they can click on it and it'll zoom in on where you put that point at. So uh, so make up make those accurate. Uh, and that helps the county sometimes if the map, um, you know, make sure your the map. If you're using a phone to take a picture of it, make sure it's you know focused and and, a, and something that the county can read. This is what the counties receive. So they'll receive your uh, a PDF copy of your notification. They'll also receive that that attached map so, uh, of your property. Of course, that's just a lower wheel map. But uh, generally speaking, of course, you'll load your. Uh, You'll load a map of the, the timber harvest that you are conducting and then they'll get pretty much the same information and what Scott was referring to. They will get a link right here if they want to view the location on Google Maps. And of course, if I click this. And for the demo, I used uh, I used the Georgia Forest Commission's uh, GFC headquarters right here. And so it takes them it shows them uh, where the harvest lo no location is. All right, so. That so going back to the uh, email right here, you have a link right here where you can when you're done, you can there's two ways of going about this. You can go here, go back to find your email and click on this link to enter the date of harvest completion. And if you click this, what you're going to get. Is uh, this very simple form um, and just date of harvest completion. You have a harvest ID right here, so when you submit a harvest you have this harvest ID number that should be unique to this harvest. You can use this for reference. Um, and then here's all your harvest notification information. This right here, you cannot change on this form, but it's here for your reference. And then all, only thing you have to do is enter the date of harvest completion here and then go down and hit submit. The counties will get notified and you'll get an email to confirmation that you submitted your date of harvest completion. So um, I'll also I'll show you where else you can access this form. Uh, you don't have to go back into your email if you don't want to. If that's easier for you, that's fine, but it's certainly not required. So um, I'm going to show you where you can go and you can go manage your harvest notifications. So that being said, so. Let's go. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go back to the uh, main page here. Um, so if you go back to the timber harvest uh, hub here, we had to submit a harvest notification. And we have this other button that says enter the date of harvest completion. We'll probably end up changing the name of this to manage har timber harvest. But um, but this is where you can go in and the, the date of harvest completion as well as edit any uh, timber harvest that you have going on. So if I click this link here, what this is going to do, this is going to open up a dashboard. And within this dashboard, you're uh, you're going to have a list right here of all the timber harvest that you you are working on, and uh, if I click this right here, you can't see them zoom far out, but uh, but if you click this and zoom in, you'll be able to see your harvest notifications. So there it is, right there. So I click this link right here, or this button, this little dot. Um, all of my uh, information that I've submitted shows up in this little pop up. There's my map right there. Um, as an attachment. Um, and if you click this little button right before we get to this, um, before if you click this little tab right here, here's some instructions that kind of give you a rundown of what you really need to do. Um, but pretty straightforward. Um, over here, you can fill if you have a bunch of timber harvest and you want to filter them, you know, over the years and you want to filter them by a, a particular time period or by county, you can do the filters right here and that'll only populate those points that have uh, within those time frames. So, or within these uh, filter parameters, I should say. So, right here, so you have a couple, so you've submitted your timber harvest notification. You clicked on that link and this is where you can manage it. If for some reason you made a mistake and you need to go in and re-edit and resubmit your survey, you can uh, or uh, excuse me, your uh, notification. You can click this link right here and this is going to reopen the timber harvest notification form. And all your information is in here and you can go through here and make changes. Um, you'll need to reconfirm your email right here um, before submitting, but any changes you can make and then submit. And once you do, you'll get the same email notification that you got before and the counties will as well. 
So um, that's how you do that. When you are done with your harvest notification, or when you're done, when you are done harvesting timber, and it's time for uh, the next step is finally to just go in and, and enter your date of harvest completion. So you go back to this dashboard here, and you find your point, and then you click on this uh, enter date of harvest completion button right here. This is going to open up that form again. Remember, we saw this form in the email uh, confirmation that you received. So only thing, and just if you want to make sure all your information is correct, you can go down here and just double check it. And then of course, right here, I'm just going to put in the date and I'm just going to put tomorrow. So my harvest was completed tomorrow. Of course, you wouldn't do that. You'd put the date that it actually was completed. And then you will hit submit. And then once you do that, you're done. Um, you should get an email notification. Uh, the counties will give that email notification that, that everything has been completed. And and that's it in a nutshell. You can see that legend down at the bottom. What is, what is it? Red still active and greens completed. Is that yes. Right? There. Thank you, Scott. Uh -huh. So once you submit uh, your harvest notification. It will turn up. Actually, let me do a quick refresh. Once you enter the date of harvest completion, it's been a little clunky this morning. Generally, there it goes. Um, harvest, initially, it shows up as an active harvest. When you hit, when you when you enter the date of harvest completion, it turns green. And I don't I know if you noticed, but up here I got an email. This is what the counties will receive. Counties and cities. Um, They'll get this email right here and they'll get another copy of, of your harvest notification PDF with, I don't know if you can quite see this, but the date of harvest completion has been entered. So this is their final copy. And you as well um, will receive one. I mean, it just simply says thank you for completing your timber harvest notification. This email indicates that you have completed the timber harvest notification requirements for this for the following harvest. And here's just some general information for you. And of course, no further action is needed and have a great day and uh, keep these for your records. And and that's pretty much it. We got feedback from some of the counties where, you know, they were <coughs> um, some of the uh, harvesters would not notify them of completion. I think that was under the old way of doing it as well. There was just a, you know, folks get busy and they forget to notify the county that they're finished. Uh, and that was something that was some feedback we got from the county in this process too, to try to try to encourage that or, or you know, remind harvesters. So um, there will be a, an email reminder that will come out periodically to you that says, you know, hey, you still have an active uh, harvest that's not been finalized. So um, that'll be in there as well, but you can look at that dashboard and see what you have going and, and uh, what's still active and what's finished. And, you know, that's important to close them out because, um, you know, if there's a problem with the road, um, you know, the county looks and says, well, it's still an active harvest. It must be the timber harvesters. Well, you know, you may have been gone two months and it, wa it wasn't you, it was the, uh, you know, the cement trucks going in and out doing something. So uh, it's to your benefit to close them out as soon as possible. But I know everybody is busy and it's just something you forget to do. But uh, hopefully uh, some of this some this system will help uh, help remind you and uh, keep that current with the county so that they know what's what's going and what's not. Any questions you have that come up down the road, just email us at that timberharvest at gfc.state.ga.us. And uh, we have a, a team there that's uh, standing by to answer any of those questions that pop up. So, uh, you know, the, the website's off to a, a great start. I think we, um, we like I say, we spent a lot of time with the pilot and we worked through a lot of, lot of bugs and problems. And uh, I hope that's going to pay off for us in a real smooth transition into, into using the system. We're excited about it. Um, you know, I think it brings timber harvest notifications into the modern age and um, you know it's going to 
really uh, hopefully create some efficiencies for you and and some efficiency, some some uh, uniformity as well. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up the uh, the webinar. Thanks for everybody who who joined in, and you all have a great day. Thanks. Thank y'all.